Hey, Spuddies, Potato Whiskey here. This is actually my third attempt to record this video, and it was originally going to be a sponsored video, but I was too busy to actually accept the sponsor, so I'm doing them a free video because I enjoy this game so much. This is Drill Core. It's a very cool mining defense game, and it kind of scratches all the nodules on my brain that feel good because I, you know, it reminds me of Dig Dug when I was a kid, all that sort of stuff. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. Like you can upgrade your platform. You can do all, I haven't figured out how to unlock the bonus slot, but like there's a whole bunch of things that you can unlock. You can unlock qualifications. You can do all this sort of stuff. Uh, I, I've unlocked difficulty five. So let's go ahead and do a depth navigator on a frost world. Just gonna show things that are a little bit different. Frost worlds have less combat for your miners, but they have more hazards for your miners. So these are the sort of things you're going to be wanting to keep in mind. There's a whole bunch of UI happening here, but the most important thing is right here in the center. It, it kind of reminds me of Metal Slug kind of graphically, which I love. If you hold down enter, I have I have the game paused, but the screen looks kind of weird. You can see that, that's me pausing and unpausing the game, but your mining platform, we are trying to warm this planet up to make it more habitable for humanity, I guess. And we are a mining company who are interested in a profit. We can mine. However, the mine is likely only like this deep in reality. Uh, we have a bunch of staff. We have miners, we have carriers, and we have guards. Guards will fight the monsters that we might find down in the mine. They tend to be, in my experience, less monsters down here on ice planets than in other ones. That has been my observation. There's a few things we need to talk about. Uh, there is a day and night cycle because of course every survival game has a day and night cycle now. It's just like it's a gameplay mechanic that has been popularized since the days of Minecraft Alpha. Enemies will come from the top. I'm going to click and build two mortar turrets. Your first two turrets are free, so I tend to try to build turrets that are a little bit more expensive for the first two. And mortar turrets are quite good. Uh, they do decent single target damage, and they also do decent AoE damage. And I can probably combine them with a couple of machine gun turrets or uh, gun turrets to get a lot of damage in. May as well just build those. You're, uh, I have gotten an upgrade that allows my first building to be free, and the barracks is the most expensive one, you can see here. Uh, well, it's actually the factory is the most expensive one, so I probably should have built a factory first. A slight error on my part. Uh, the barracks allows you to recruit new miners, and I do like to get an extra an extra miner and an extra carrier right at the start of the game, because it, uh, up to three miners can work on a single block. That, like, getting a third miner just really optimizes things. Then I like to get a factory, so that we can speed up the rate at which we make extra materials. Uh, iron is an incredibly important resource in this game, and so I like to make as much of it as I can. My big focus focus for the first couple of days will be to find resources like this iron right here and get my carriers to bring them up into the mining platform. I'm going to tell them to focus on this swarm lit here. Okay, so we found the we found a impenetrable wall. We cannot mine this. We can only mine certain types of blocks, and we kind of want to keep that in mind. I'm gonna grab myself two more miners so that we can mine a little bit more efficiently. And this right here, this is an enemy. If we don't break break this block quickly enough, a weird little piranha creature will pop out and cause us a lot of problems. Uh, we got a green te technology item, which allows us to choose new buildings for our drilling platform. So this bar will occasionally boost a worker during the daytime, and the repair station will occasionally repair our core. I think getting an early rep repair station could be pretty good because um, once you build a floor of your drill platform, you have to build a floor up and then the buildings on the next floor get more expensive. So like the, the bottom floor buildings, if you got an expensive building like this, it's good to put them down there. Um, I like to focus, I like to get like three barracks and three smelters on the, they actually get pretty expensive the higher up you go. So we're about to take out this piranha and he is dead and no longer is he a problem. I'm gonna drill a platform straight to the east and I will add the occasional, I like to drill in this kind of a pattern, kind of a fishbone ripple back pattern based on what we find. It's a good exploratory pattern. It keeps your miners busy, in my opinion. And I like to just kind of, uh, there we go. We got an iron from this. Uh, I have mine upgraded so that it will hold iron for a little bit. I'm going to build myself a second barracks. I've also got my barracks upgraded to where they hold four troops instead of uh, three. And we've got a swirly node. I don't know what actually to call them, but I'm going to prior. Oh, no, I need to prio dig. I need to prio dig the piranha up here. That needs to go because he's going to be a problem. And then I will dig towards the swirly. Uh, any units inside the swirly will will be slowed, which is not exactly ideal. And we'll just keep digging, right? We got another piranha down here. Now it's almost nighttime, and when nighttime comes, so too does your mom. No, so too does the worms. And the worms are scary. Oh, watch out. We've got a cave in here. This ice will fall. Bloop. So you don't want your dudes to be in there. 
Um, it's a dangerous thing. And so what we're trying to do is drill down to a depth of 250 meters so that we can detonate our core and warm up the planet. We're currently 50 meters deep, so we need to find four coal. Now, night is almost upon us, and usually you can get through the first night with just the two free turrets, so I prefer to invest my first points into getting... I prefer to invest my first set of iron and stuff like that to getting carriers and drillers and miners. Um, and I'll just kind of send my miners... Oh, here comes a worm. We got our escape. So a big giant worm is going to come from the right side of the screen, wiggle his way across, and any workers that are in his way, he will eat. There he is. is a big scary boy. He's here to eat my miners. And then from the top of the mine, the bad guys come. Now the first night, pretty easy to deal with these guys. They, um... They don't have a lot of health, but every day, more of them are going to come and their health is going to go up. So that's something we need to worry about. Um, and it gets pretty scary once their health threshold no longer gets one shot by these guys. I'm going to grab myself. Uh, I would like another guard. I would like to go to nine miners and six carriers. That usually feels like a good number to me. I'm doing some exploratory mining right now. I also like to make sure that I have uh, clear spaces above my miners so that I can avoid cave-ins. Cave-ins can happen. And it's a bit like an RTS game, right? You, you gotta you gotta respond to threats. You gotta be active. You gotta be careful. Like, I need to take out this falling thing. Ooh, now I need to make sure that I priority drill these two blocks because there's an enemy spawning. Ooh, and now there's an enemy spawning here too. And because of the cave-in, this resource was captured in that block. So we, we need to do a lot of things to be careful. Uh, we're going to get a miner. Once you have 10 workers, the next worker becomes twice as expensive. That's why I don't like to go too much more. And once you get to 15, they become even more expensive. We're, we're getting to the point now where recruiting more miners becomes inefficient, purely just from a cost point of view. But yeah, I like to have a clear shaft, a nice clean shaft. And let me tell you, your mom disagrees. She thinks my shaft should be as... I don't know why I said that. Like, bleep that out. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, so we need to priority drill this. And I'm going to do an exploratory tunnel into here as well. I'll do a exploratory tunnel into there. We've got our barracks up and we're just about to get up to nine miners. Nine miners is a good place, in my opinion. Let's do a little drilling. Oh, we got some good digging going on here. We want to be looking out for resources. And it's all, it's very zen, right? Now, the second night, things get a little harder. And so this is where I think I'm going to add a couple of machine, like at least one, maybe two machine gun turrets. Because I just, I don't want to take damage if I don't have to, right? If I can avoid taking damage, that's just better than, than taking damage, right? I know that sounds like... A taut tautological, but it is just better. All right, so we got another technology. Ooh, a fun one could be to get a machine gun catalyzer. Also, I like the idea of a, of a shotgun turret. Now, the shotgun turret has quite a bit smaller range than the machine gun turret, but it could be fun to play around with. I will get myself a couple of machine gun turrets. Machine gun turrets are decent at clearing up small enemies. Um, we're going to want a cannon or two down here, too. Maybe, I wish, I wish, here's something I wish. I wish the refund for destroying a turret, that the minus one, you lose an iron for destroying a turret. I wish if it was like, if it hadn't been nighttime yet, that, that refunding a turret was free. Um, because sometimes you make a mistake. That's like one little thing I would love to see the developers think about. Um, also, I need to clear out all this because I don't like the idea of a cave-in. Cave-ins can happen and they are scary as heck and you want to avoid them. I'm going to get one more carrier and then probably one more soldier and that will be at 952. Two soldiers can handle most things especially if you upgrade them. All right so enemies should come. I don't think we'll get any of the big enemies yet. Let's go ahead and retreat. Now these guys are pretty deep in the mine so they might get eaten. Okay they managed to just barely escape. You gotta be really careful if you got dudes super deep in the mine um, but you can see my uh, my machine gun turrets, what they will do is they will like clean up any low health enemies that might be left behind from an explosion. That won't matter until maybe night four when enemies might start becoming quite powerful enough to survive a mortar blast. And one of the really scary things about monsters in this game is you cannot increase the damage of your turrets. You're going to make them shoot faster. And in a game where monsters get like quite a bit more powerful, that don't feel so good. We got a lot of stuff picking up. We're getting like meta progression resources, all sorts of good stuff. And we have found the majority of the coal. Oh man, we hit the mother load when it comes to resources here. I do wish that there was like a very, very small chance for non-resource blocks, like a 1% chance that a non-resource block dropped a resource. I think that would just make the game kind of more fun. And I'm always in favor of like things that make games more fun. I'm going to get myself 
another factory. I like to get early factories because each factory you have will speed up the generation of iron. And having that early iron generation can really make a difference over the course of a, of a long game. I don't want to build a full... Um, ooh, this is priority. This is priority. And we've more or less cleared out the mine. I'm going to grab myself one more gunner to... Just so I have two guards. Um, because a single guard can easily be overwhelmed by... An, like, if, if there's an enemy in here that I just couldn't quite get to, he could be very easily overwhelmed. And then I'm going to tell my guys to just clear out any high up blocks to lower risks of cave-ins on my um, on my carriers. Ooh, a grenade launcher. The worker booster is really powerful. I like the worker booster. I also like the radar. Uh, I'll go for the worker booster. That's quite a powerful one. Um, laser watchtowers are interesting, as is the bar. I'll go for the laser watchtower. I kind of like that. It's kind of a neat a neat thing that I can shoot up. Ooh, the machine gun is super good. So I'll grab the machine gun. I like that. A lot of these buildings, uh, we won't really be building many of them until we get to the next layer of our of our build. And I think I'm going to go for a high risk. Ooh, a piece of ice fell and hurt my guys. I'm going to start telling my miners to retreat as the mission is basically completed. And I'm just going to allow my carriers to risk it for a biscuit by going deep. I am going to grab myself another factory. And now we need to build a layer up. And each platform costs two iron and gives you access to three more building locations. So I'm going to try to micro my carriers here. You can't really give them commands, but you can only tell them to retreat. So I'm going to try to re retreat micro them to get another iron or two, but it might not work. So we get the turret booster. It's a great nighttime ability. And the splitter will automatically shoot stuff underground. The stunner is also quite powerful. And um, the turret booster is, comes off cooldown pretty good. It's a nighttime ability that allows you to boost your turrets temporarily. I'm going to speed up the game time here to see if we can get this stuff picked up real quick. Um, and I think we will get out with all the resources. All resources acquired, fully retreating, and here come the enemies. And so now we're going to get some of the big enemies. And I can't quite afford a gun turret, but that is something that I would like. So the bottom of the mine right now is currently designed to take out um, small enemies. So we are going to we're, we're going to struggle a little bit against the bigger enemies. So I think as I go higher up, I might look to try to def try to implement something that will help me clean up larger enemies. Um, okay, so let's slow down time. We'll take this and we'll begin mining down. We're also going to build a platform. And I think in terms of daytime abilities, the worker booster is a fantastic pickup here. We would also like the laboratory, but the laboratory takes a lot of money to invest into it before you get a lot of value out of it. So I'm going to go for the worker booster. Uh, because this will give me access to a AOE ability to to boost the performance of my miner. Right, there we go. I'm going to hollow out a large cavity here. And there's a maximum number of orders that you can give. But once we break this block, all of my miner teams will activate. I do like the idea of the watch. I also like the laser corrector. Laser correctors are very, very powerful and interesting. So let's go ahead and fire off the drilling boost, the worker boost. So they'll drill through all this area pretty quick. We'll be able to clean this up nice and fast. Got to... Piranha, frozen piranha, as I like to call them. And my workers are a little bit hurt, which worries me. Uh, we need to, so yeah, so we absolutely need to get higher tech so that we can see deeper into the blocks to be able to predict hazards. Um, that's something we're a little bit vulnerable to, so I'm going to immediately grab myself a laboratory because the laboratory will give us access to rock visibility and the ability for workers to fully recover their health every morning, although we will need to build two laboratories to get access to that. Okay, we don't want to break these blocks because they will freeze all of our dudes. That's how they work. They they basically ice freeze your dudes. So you don't want to break these if you can avoid it. There's various kinds of hazards underground. I'm going to take the block visibility boost, which will let me see deeper into the fog of war, so to speak. Uh, I'm going to leave this because this will just break this for me. The sort of flame spewers will actually hurt blocks nearby. So I'll let that kill this fish boy. Right. Nighttime is coming. Can be worrying. Here it is. The worms shall be here in a moment. We can do a little bit of risky mining because the worm is quite far away. I need to get my miners to retreat, but for now we should be okay to, to keep to keep doing risky pickups here. Um, I'm going to grab myself a laboratory and then take the uh, fully heal every morning because I like this ability. Fuel consumption optimization means that when we drill down, we only need three coal, which means we spend less time on the mining phase of the game and more time going down because... Uh, your miners are most efficient at the top of the shaft, of the of the mining shaft, right? Because there's less travel time, so there's carrier time. So you kind of want to drill down as fast as possible. Uh, we'll start building up more turrets tomorrow. Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage, but not too much. All right, I'll speed up time. It'll take us a moment to kill these guys. They're pretty resistant to... They have a lot of health, basically. So a snowstorm is coming. I'm going to prioritize... Where do I want to do my mining? I'm going to prioritize mining over here on the left side. 
All my workers got healed because it's uh, a new morning. Then we can break this because uh, the f it, it killed the two fish that it was sort of threatening to release. And let the mining commence. All right, I'm going to build myself a, a gun turret because they're fairly good against big enemies. And I'll probably continue that trend. And you wanna, you wanna try to dig underneath, you, you wanna try to avoid digging underneath resources because the further you make them fall down the mine, the less efficient your carriers are, right? You want those carriers to kind of be working optimally. The small little optimizations like this can save you a few seconds on a run. One thing I definitely want is jetpack upgrade because we're spending a lot of time now walking back and forth with our workers. So if we can make them run around a little quicker, it's also drill speed increase. We can get an energy catalyzer or a weakening turret. I'll go for the weakening turret. And I will priority drill out this uh, flame thing. Nighttime is almost here. Things are a little scary. I'm going to put a shotgun up top. It has a fairly low range, but it will be able to do pretty pretty decent damage to, to nearby stuff. I just want to break this fish before I retreat. All right, let's mass retreat now. I feel safer if I do it now. Sure, there's a few resources that were dropped, but they are dropped in a fairly safe place. Uh, but yeah, see, we're going to be going up against these enemies now. These guys have a lot. They have like a shield ability. That means you have to hit them multiple times before they actually take damage. And this is where shotguns are going to shine. So I'm hopeful that shotguns will do a lot of work for me. And also my machine guns are pretty good against shredding the armor. Um, so yeah, and the cannon will do a lot of work because it just does a lot of upfront uh, chunk damage. You can see there's a lot less enemies on the left side where the shotgun was clearing away. So we shouldn't take too much damage tonight. But we do need more shotguns. And that will be something we, we, we get. I'll probably fill this area up here in the north with... Um, Shotguns. Hear me calling it the north. There's no north underground. Give my guys a little work speed boost so they can drill a little bit more efficiently. All right, worker speed and visibility is reduced, so that's something we need to be keeping abreast of. Let me pop in here. I'll grab myself a shotgun turret. They do pretty good work. I'm hopeful that we can find a way down into this area because I don't want to approach it from this left side. I want to approach it from the... It's just like it's a very long walk time. Ooh, a minigun. Increasing the range of turrets is quite good. I also like... Yeah, I'll go for that. That's fine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to add another shotgun, and the, the theory of defense on this layer is going to be it's going to be four shotguns plus a cannon. The shotguns will kill anything that get close to the walls, and the cannon will chip away at anything that's sort of in between the range of the shotguns in here. And that's kind of like the, the theory of defense that I'm going for that layer of the mine. That's my doctrine, so to speak. The radar and the laser station are both actually quite good, so I don't mind which one I get here. But we are going to have to retreat soon. I think now is the moment. Ooh, I'm a little worried. Some of my guys might get caught here. This is a pretty high up worm. Okay, looks like we just managed to escape. Perfect. And these shotguns will do a lot of work for me, is the hope. In particular against these enemies with the high shields, because they're really, really hard to take care of. But the shotguns just work them so well. And so you can see the shotguns are kind of forcing enemies to be in the center of the shaft. The sandstorm is now over. Um, and hopefully we can get another shotgun tonight. I'm going to clear some pathways to make getting down here a little easier. And I'm going to create a priority dig direction like this. We need to get down in through here. I'll create a secondary dig location like this. Um, and I'll work our boost so that we drill through nice and quick. All right, that's another shotgun turret. Let's do it. Boom. It's, always, it's really, really good to get your, your turret locations filled out, in my opinion. It's quite important. It buys you a lot of time. Similarly, I think worker move speed is more important than um, other stuff, than drill speed or health. Health can be really useful because it can save you guys. But I think... Worker move speed is the one um, that really makes a difference. Particularly when you have a big team, your guys just spend so much time walking around doing random stuff. And so just to lower the risk of cave-ins, I'm going to focus on anything that's kind of above where my carriers might go, just so I can minimize risk. Two more iron and we can make the thing of our dreams and our defense. I am going to go ahead and drill down next morning, no matter what. Let some time pass. Might get another iron from the factory here. We'll see. No need to use a worker boost. That'll just put it on cooldown. We should save it for tomorrow morning. Um, and I think that is all the work we're going to get done tonight. So I'm going to manually retreat my miners uh, because if you hold down the R, the day instantly ends. So you want to get the extra few seconds of factory work time. Uh, I am going to build myself a gun turret, and the gun turret will hopefully focus on catching these guys, right? The guys in the center. Uh, these guys have extremely high range, so we want to prioritize our gun turrets to take those out, because they are going to do damage to us really early. Yeah, but yeah, you can see the enemies are only getting down through the center now, thanks to the shotguns. To the point where, if these weren't free and I could get the refund on them, I would maybe sell them for more cannons. Uh, I've got a snowstorm coming, I believe, this day, and we are drilling down. So now we're at 150 depth, I think? So a couple more drills and we got it in the bag. Let's extendo your rendo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase mining speed by 25% so that we can get 
this day started a little easier. The second we open this rock up, this is where we play the higher speed workers to get them down into the mine and drilling, just opening up whatever we can get. Because this this early part of the mine, you shred through. Uh, machine gun catalyzer would be really good because it basically increases the attack rate of machine gun turrets. I'm going to reroll here because I do have two rerolls. I do like machine gun watchtowers. They're kind of neat. They just do like AOE damage over time. Think of them as chip damage. Uh, I'm going to prioritize mining towards this ice hazard. But otherwise, we're mostly taking a fairly chill approach to mining. I do like a more strip miney approach. That is my preference. Uh, because we've drilled down again, we can go for even more turrets. And I, I really like the shotgun turret plus the cannon. It feels like a really good combo. Shotgun turrets plus gun turret. So I might do more of that. I don't believe we took too much damage yesterday, so I feel like I can focus a little bit more on worker speed, get that extra 25%. I'm going to focus, now that the mine is sort of opened up, I'm going to focus on mining on one side. I will keep some of these resource tags open, but most of it's going to be pushing one particular side. Uh, I don't want hand drill speed. What I want at the top of the mine is more shotgun turrets, honestly. They have been doing great work for me, those shotgun turrets. Okay, so this is a pretty deep level. Um, so we will get a few worms down low. We don't need to worry about them just yet. Only when we see one actually near us, like now. I'm, that's, I'm just going to retreat now. But yeah, you can see how there's basically a central area where enemies are sort of getting through. And we Don't worry about that. We have a plan to deal with that. It will just take some time. I do like that your soldiers actually fight. It's kind of cool. I think it would be fun if there was the option to build. Uh, cool suggestion for the developers. It would be awesome if there was like a... Um, soldier watchtower building that was fairly cheap um, that any of your guards would get into and like fight on. Ooh, also like maybe like a mining platform, like a mining laser tower that like your miners would get up on and fight from. Uh, another thing that I think would be super awesome would be if there was a very, very, there's like a 1% chance for enemies to drop progression resources. Maybe cap it at like, oh, you know, you could only get like five yellow, three green, one purple from enemies every run or something, right? Just Something small would make it kind of feel rewarding to actually kill a lot of enemies. Um, like, maybe make it scale, so like, there's a 3% chance if you kill them up here, 2% chance, 1% chance. You know, there's like, there's lots of really cool, like, little things that they could do to encourage players to, um, to, to try to optimize certain different aspects of the game. Uh, so Frost, a high chance of ice appearing, snowstorm is coming, visibility and worker speed will be reduced. That's kind of scary. Let's get that extra 25% mining speed. It gets less effective the more of it you have, but it does help um, that they start drilling faster. Ooh, I keep forgetting to use my worker boost. I'm really bad about using the daytime abilities. It's like one area of the game that I struggle with. I'm being good at. I'm going to build up a new platform because I would like... The turret expander especially would be really good to give range to my shotguns. Rocket turrets I don't particularly like very much. They're pretty decent, like one or two early at the top of the mine is quite good. I think it would be cool if you got one free building refund every, like, every time you drill down or every time you mined. I think there's certain abilities, like being able to refund and change your build, it would be interesting if there was more tools for that because that's often something I struggle with is like, I avoid making certain decisions because I know they won't be optimal later. And I think that makes certain things like like, rocket turrets way work. Like, for example, what if every time you drilled down, you were able to move a turret for free? Like, you could swap them around. It's like, ooh, okay, I'm going to move this mortar turret up higher in the mine. And I think there's a lot of really small things like that. It's just because moving things around is so arduous. Like, minus one iron doesn't sound like much, but man, it hurts. If you need to, like, retool a floor, like, it hurts really bad. I'm going to get myself another shotgun turret just to keep thinning. And then I think the next thing that I will do is probably replace these machine gun turrets with more cannons. Or maybe maybe I should go full mortar down the bottom. Well, the mortar... No, I should go full cannon at the bottom. Some of my dudes got iced in. Yeah, you can see how it gets real scary. Like, you get iced in. Like, none of my guys can escape right now. And we're in a snowstorm. I also wish there was a button here that I could click this and say retreat miners retreat gu guards and then like and then click a button that would say like carry one last so like that would be if my carriers are carrying something they would because if I were to just retreat right now my whole forces these guys drop all these resources right and so just that that like being able to sort of make that something I don't have to manually do this carrier is going to get eaten unless I unless I retreat them all the shotguns are still doing decent work up here but they're not as good as they used to be. What I am going to do is I'm going to delete this machine gun turret and I'm going to replace it with a gun turret uh, because we need things that overlap the center. And so these guys, when they die, they freeze nearby turrets. So they're really good against low range turrets. Um, yeah, we shouldn't have too much trouble with the cannons in the center. I think having the mortars is actually decent here because they do help. Yeah, these guys, the fact that they do damage from f so high up is annoying. I think I may build myself a repair station just to try and claw back a little bit of health. All right, let's get these guys boosted in here as we tear up the earth. I'm going to cancel all the orders down here because they're just kind of deep. So the first thing that I want for sure 
is the turret expander. Uh, that's going to give me an ability that I can tap to increase the range of all my turrets. And that'll be really nice and helpful. Then I am going to get... This doesn't boost all turrets. I prefer things that boost all my turrets. I'm going to grab myself the machine gun because this will allow me to deploy a um, machine gun volley from the center of my platform from right here. And I don't think we should bother getting another laboratory. Unless we want to be able to drill down faster. Could be really useful to be able to drill down faster. It might win me the map. Yeah, we might save up for that. We'll see. Let's boost these workers so they work a little faster. We can get a hospital. We can get the auto turret. The auto turret's great at the top of the mine, but I much prefer... Um, Shotguns, I think. The hospital's a decent thing, I guess. It, it allows you to heal workers. So there's a fish boy in here that we just we just never release him and we're good. We don't we just don't let him out. That's the trick there. I'm finding a lot of resources down here. Um it's a lovely thing. I think we may actually be able to take uh, fuel optimization to allow us to drill faster. Just need to get one more iron up there. I'm going to tell them to prioritize the technology and the iron because right now I'm struggling for iron and I'm going to begin the process of retreating my miners manually in case there's worms, and I'll keep my carriers from going down deeper. Oh, I do like the drone station. It creates a um, a squad of attack drones that will kind of fly up and do some damage to your enemies. So I'm going to go ahead and drill next morning. I will lock that in, and I'm going to grab myself two more shotgun turrets up top of the mine, and then I'm going to lock in the retreat order. Boom. We're getting out of here. Uh, so now I can increase the range of my turrets slightly, so they will now just barely overlap the center. And I have this turret right here that I can manually, like, fire center mass of the enemy swarm, where just, it's not a huge amount of damage, but it does sort of help me put damage into the center where I'm weakest, right? And I want to be manually targeting these guys that do the, uh, the long-range attack. It's just like, brrr, just... I just want to fire center mass of the enemy swarm. I increase the range of my turrets. The great thing about this turret ability is it will shred the shield off these guys too, making them a lot more vulnerable. We do have to think about our next platform though, so we can pre-build that. Once I break this red block, that's where I play the worker speed because remember, only three guys can work on a single block. Boom, let's go get digging, lads. And this first, this first area of drilling is always where the explosive amount of digging happens, right? Because it's very easy. It's all compact and close and everything is easy to get work on. That's why I like to go down fast. That's what I said to your mom. Oh, yeah. I right, get in there. But you can see, buildings are getting quite expensive now that we're another platform up. Which feels quite bad. I almost always have so much more swarmlet than I have iron. I haven't even begun to upgrade my turrets. I do think the turret upgrades are quite boring. It's like, oh, you shoot faster. I think it would be more interesting if each turret had, like, a unique upgrade tree. So what if, like, oh, the cannon. Um, what if I could upgrade a cannon to... Um, if it kills an enemy, it pierces it. It pierces through and hits an enemy behind it. There's a cool ability. Or what if when it hits an enemy, its shell penetrates and it, you know, splits. You know, there's lots of like cool, there's lots of cool things that they could do. Um, and right now the upgrade system just feels, I guess, uninspired. It feels just very like, oh, here's plus, here you shoot faster. And that really just isn't, I hate to use the phrase, it isn't good enough. Because that sounds like I'm like, this isn't good enough. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm really like, you guys are not doing a good enough job, but it's like, you know, it's just it's a little boring. That's all. It's just a little boring. I do like the rocket, the rocket watchtower, but I do actually want to build a machine gun watchtower because this thing will brrr, shoot a bunch of bullets straight up for me. And I, like, I want to build them in a pair, ideally, um, and this will just give us like a constant barrage of bullets down the center of the shaft. It's like your mom has a constant barrage on my shaft. Am I right, boys? Am I right? Probably time to retreat now. All right, I'll just get out of the mine just so I don't have to micromanage it. And uh, I'll add another gun turret because that's what we do here in Potato McWhiskey Space Industries. And so you should see every now and again, this turret will fire just a random barrage of bullets up. It's not a particularly effective thing, but what it is good at is chipping away at armor. It's, a, it's, it's basically like an AOE attack, right? It's a very light AOE bullet attack that will chip away at enemy armor. It'll do some damage. Nothing too crazy, but it is nice. Um, speaking of which, brrr, I, I think it'd be cool if you could upgrade these watchtowers. Like, what if I added another cannon? I also, I wish I could get them to synchronize so they all shoot at the same time. It's kind of annoying. You have to, like, delete them and rebuild them, and then you lose an iron to try and get them all shoot at the same time. And lots of little things about this game. Uh, but that's fair. I, I think it's in early access. I actually don't remember. I know it's currently in development. They have, like, a roadmap. They're building new platforms. They're doing all sorts of cool stuff with it. So I'm interested to see where it goes, for sure, um, because I think they have an interesting little game here. Ooh, the drone carrier is kind of cool. It allows you to send down drones to pick up resources and then the oscillator allows you to 
weakened blocks that your workers are mining. I don't like any of these, honestly. They're they're cool, but they're not they're not they're not me. I'll grab the poison gun. Um, poison gun's kind of interesting. Basically, when it hits an enemy, it poisons them. I'm gonna sell this machine gun turret in exchange for a gun turret because of the range and raw damage that it has. Alright, plenty of mining going on. We've got a little bit of resources. We've also built all of the um, turrets that we can. We're never going to get more turret slots. So we want to think about like, how can we upgrade our turrets? We're using mostly explosive and machine gun turrets. And that is uh, that is just to tell us the type of turret. There's, there's green, red, and blue turrets, which are gun, explosive, and other one that I forget name of. All right, let's build ourselves into the machine gun watchtower. Hopefully the combined volleys of these will push the enemies back up the shaft a little bit. I will go for the stunner, stone coal. Have not found much coal. There is a coal over here that we'll go grab next morning, but I want to focus my miners in a small area. Again, because miners are more efficient. Um, the less moving around they have to do. So the worm position today was bad, and now we're going to retreat. Get the heck out of there, boys. Uh, uh, let's start wrapping. I definitely would like to get my hands on some of those drone launchers and possibly some watchtowers as well could be good. Let's kind of take these guys out here. Boom. Love it. I kind of liked machine gun turrets because they have a kind of AOE effect. The machine gun watchtowers. They're not good when you're up against stuff like this, but I don't know. I like them. And really, this game is like, how deep do you want to go? It's like, how long is a piece of string? Like, you know, unlike when I'm with your mom, in this game, I can go as deep as I want to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm like this. I'm going to build a drone station on the left here. And building a second drone station will increase its efficiency by, I think, either 30, 50 or 35, 33%. And so building two is pretty efficient. More than two is unnecessary. Let's make sure we prioritize pickup of the coal here so that we can actually go down if we want. I find it very interesting that, you know, we're still using coal as our main mode of moving giant drilling platforms in whatever super space future this game is set in. Uh, we'll, we'll grab ourselves a second drone platform that's beautiful. Perfect. Ooh, he's an angry little fish boy in a prison. Get wrecked, bro. Oh, they, they's mad. But these are like little fish bombs that I have to worry about now. It'll ruin my day if I let them. Um, I'm trying to think what I could input here to improve my mine. I could recruit more troops, but I don't know if I need to. I could build more factories. I don't think I'll get value out of that. Daytime abilities. I can increase the worker booster duration. That's not very good. I think it's time to start retreating my miners because we're going to be drilling down today. Carriers are a little bit more expendable in my brain. Um, you know what? I may as well just make this a whole ass drone platform. Uh, so let's begin the nighttime defense. Release the drones and we will drill. Go down. So remember, what was it? Uh, so I actually need to let my core get hurt more in order to complete my qualification and I need to fully upgrade five turrets. So fully upgrading five turrets is very doable if we want to actually achieve that to unlock some new abilities. I think it would be interesting to show off like the, the sort of pushing yourself to the limit. Push it to the limit. Um, I think it would be more interesting if we went for that angle. All right, fire off a machine gun. Mainly just trying to soften up the strong enemies and keep launching those drones. The drones are great. Uh, they do the sort of coordinated fire against certain enemies and... All oh, right, I should retreat my... retreat my troops. You, got, you always gotta remember that. Big volley of machine gun fire getting blasted out here. Searchlights are firing. We need to be careful about how much we invest into these though, because it is possible, I believe, for a thing to happen that prevents us from using nighttime abilities. Yeah, night... literally, as I say it, polar night. Night abilities will be unavailable. Uh, that's going to make our nighttime significantly harder. So upgrading turrets is going to be the name of the game. Things are getting super expensive, but the laboratory has remained fairly cheap. So if I take the laboratory, right, I get back the three minerals, I lose one, and I move it up a platform. I actually end up in a pretty decent place resource-wise, although uh, probably wasn't ideal to do that right now. But every platform I can move a building down save some money on that building so destroying and rebuilding is still quite viable but only in certain instances mainly i want to move my labs up to the next floor because these are prime watchtower locations where they are right now um lower in the lower on the stack therefore cheaper a fish is chomping on my dude ah oh, he ate one now he's gonna fall and hurt himself this ice boy no, oh, no, he lived. Okay. So a lack of nighttime ability is going to make my life quite hard. It may be worth it to sell my drone, my drones to retool. This is where like actually selling becomes a little bit better. And I'll put a couple missile watchtowers, like sell up, put a missile watchtower there. Um, and since I literally cannot use either of these, I may as well sell them and just rebuild them and replace them with missile watchtowers. That will actually help us. It might seem a little bit unhinged, but there is a logic to it. Ooh, I need to get a health upgrade to make my dude last a little longer. 
All right, he got munched on. That's unlucky. Retreat. So now we got missile watchtowers and machine gun watchtowers helping us out. Oh, I guess the nighttime ability didn't actually fire. That's weird. But yeah, missile watchtowers are pretty good. They do AoE damage, like actual AoE damage, but they only fire directly up and they kind of wiggle back and forth. So they're not particularly accurate. Uh, I guess I just sold off all my stuff for no reason. Feel bad, man. But yeah, I love watchtowers. They do so much work for you. We do a little mining. Let me sell you. Boom. I'll move you to the top where you're cheapest. So you got plenty of cheap space down at the bottom now. Oh! Don't f Oh, barely managed to escape there. Holy crap, I can't believe I noticed that. I just- I nearly lost like six miners, dude. That would have been an apps. that would have been a run ender. I gotta cancel all their retreats now. Speed these guys up so they get over there a little quicker. I think- let me see, which- so this would be three. Yeah, I think I'm gonna prioritize upgrading the turrets at the bottom of the shaft. That's my main goal right now, is to get them upgraded to fulfill the qualification on this contract. Retreat! Uh, I'll take the splitter. Retreat, 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 retreat. We'll stand around there while there's a worm coming at you, bro. Do you want to get wormed? Nobody wants to get wormed. Okay, so th this is the night where we don't have our night ability, which is, I guess, feels less like I was misled, but it's fine. Thankfully, we still have our watchtowers chipping away. And, and you know, the watchtowers aren't amazing, but they do do chip damage. That's what you want. You want lots of chip damage, um, and then lots of blunt force trauma to your enemy's face. Yeah, we should be pretty clean here. This should this shouldn't be a problem to clean up all this. Um, in particular, because this turret here is shooting quite quickly. It's like blap. It shoots twice as fast as this one, and we're gonna hopefully increase that even more. Yeah, attacking a soldier is a lot better than attacking other workers. Soldiers, I think soldiers have more health, and they're harder to kill in general. Worked out really nicely there. Ugh! I goddamn it! I dropped a miner using ice. Son of a gun! This is where micro... <laughs> the micromanagement of your workers becomes, like, paramount. I don't like that workers become more expensive the more of them you have. I feel like that... That's... There's certain aspects of the game that I don't love. And the sort of... I, I think cost increases just make the game less fun because it's on top of, like, the more workers you have, the more unwieldy they are. And I think the game has a natural balancing factor there of, like, things just becoming more unwieldy the more of them you have. So I don't think you need... I don't think you need them to get more expensive. Oh, did I never get... Fuel optimization? I swear I got that. Oh, maybe I'm misremembering. Or maybe I lost it when I deleted a research platform. You know what? That's something to test before we finish this mission. All right, a little bit of micro here. Ugh, I lost a, uh, I think a, gar a carrier because I wasn't watching carefully. Now let's retreat all our boys. It happens. This turret, I want it to be max level. So I've got one max level turret. I need to get four more before I can finish this qualification. Yeah, I think the problem with workers becoming more expensive is that losing workers is already really punishing. And if you make them more expensive, it just becomes more punishing the more you have. And they become more unwieldy. So it's like, it feels double, it feels extra bad. You know what I mean? And, and I don't like it when things feel extra bad. I don't think anyone likes it when things are extra bad. Let's get drilling. Let's get chilly. I thought I told you not to break that block. Oh well, it happens I guess. Alright, I'll upgrade you to max level Mr. Mortar. And well, I've got a mortar to max level and he'll he'll do some work hopefully. Oh, retreat time. Things are getting scary. Yeah, so the thing is, if this guy regenerates percentage health, the longer the game goes on, the more scary these guys get. Because the bigger the percentage, like the bigger total health enemies have and so percentage regeneration becomes scarier. Now, in a perfect world, we would also have below 20% health at the end of the contract. But that's not something I'm going to try to optimize for. That's something that I'm just hoping will happen at some point. Because I may just have to end the contract here as we're, we're like, we might just lose. You know what I mean? We're getting to our limit in terms of what we can actually... Uh, get away with. Oh, we took a lot of damage there and that's that's starting to get spooky. All right, mining is going well. We're getting a decent amount of resources. I'm going to upgrade this mortar as well so now it fires 150% faster and I will upgrade this cannon as well so that it fires 50% faster. Uh, minigun turrets are cool. They get better. Minigun turrets get better the longer the game goes. I'm going to retreat all this. There's a bunch of money down there but like it's whatever. Uh, more important that we make it through the night. Should we kill those high health regeneration enemies. So it's starting to get spooky because we, we might not make it through this night. Like I'm genuinely concerned that like it might, this might just be a wrap. You know, the thing we got to focus on are these enemies that A, heal and do damage from a long distance. Like those are the scary guys. And now there's a lot of damage getting down to the bottom of the mine, right? That's worrying too. But thankfully our turrets are shooting faster, but there is a high chance of, of, of um, frost appearing. All right, let's get drilling quickly. Now, something I can do actually here is maybe I, I've got a plan. We're going to try to survive the next night. Then we'll sell up a bunch of buildings and then um, upgrade build upgrade our turret. So I think we need to take just a smidge of damage. And so I have a little bit of a plan to make it through the next night. If we can take just a little bit of damage and have about 800 health left, I think we can do both of our mission objectives. It's a bit exploitative, but I think it's not a terrible idea. 
Like it could work. Let's get you another level. I would also like to get the drill the 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 attack drones back. Yeah, my miners are having trouble breaking these blocks now. I think blocks get harder to break as time goes on. Like the deeper you go, the harder they get. I'm gonna sell some of my factories to get three money back. And then at the bottom of the shaft, it's really cheap to play stuff. So like drone station, watchtowers, etc., etc., etc. Um, but I'm gonna place my drone station. I'll sell my two factories plus a pair of drone stations, uh, or rather a pair of nighttime abilities to help me get through the night. And now we just need to make it through the night with a little bit of health left over. And we got this in the bag. All right, I'm gonna retreat now. I don't wanna lose anyone. Fire the drones and start unleashing the waves of machine gun fire up into the top of the tower. The, the shaft, I mean, look how deep this shaft is, bro. We're starting to get the tears that your mom is... <laughs> I'm not... Okay, listen. I can't help myself. I could, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to help myself. I don't want help. I don't want to get better. I do need to take some damage. I'm hopeful that we'll take just a little bit of damage. And even if we don't, it's whatever. But yeah, you can see these turrets are firing a lot faster now. And I think just faster firing turrets just feels kind of boring, right? It's, it's way more interesting if they fired multiple shells. If they did more damage, it would be more exciting. I think, I think just... Faster firing is, it's cool, and like, obviously it's good, but it is just boring. I'm gonna sell these two, and that should allow me to max out. Okay, I need to sell something else as well. Uh, I'll sell you, boom, and I will sell this watchtower, boom. That will allow me to max out this turret, and then I'm gonna hold MG to call an end to the mission. We will detonate the core, we take all of our resources, and we deposit them, our mothership, and we get the hell out of here. We have achieved our mission. And that's Drill Core, baby. That's basically the gameplay. Now, there is some meta progression -y stuff, like if we pop in here, uh, we got a mission success, depth navigator, we, di we navigate a depth navigator. That's what your mom calls me. Um, 20 days, 30% core, we got evacuated, we did our difficulty, uh, we got a high difficulty roll, and we got a ton, a ton of contract experience, right? Loads and loads of meta progression stuff. We didn't do one of the qualifications, but we did get this fully upgrading five turrets, which is really, 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 really nice. Uh, so now we can look to do more upgrades, right? We could, we could make our workers hire faster. We could increase the storage so we land with more iron. We could find more technologies on planet. Up here, more swarm lit when we land. More exciting to me is the platform upgrades. I find these to be more exciting. I still haven't figured out why I can't unlock the bonus slots. Like, I, don't, I just don't understand it, but like we just unlocked a new technology slot for our plot. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm one away. Um, but yeah, you can like you can level them up. You get bonuses. You can you, now I can start with two free technologies, so I can be like, hey, I want to do mines and mortars. Oh my. Mm. Um, I think the game needs work. I, I will be frank and honest about it, but I think it's moving in interesting directions, and I definitely feel like the runs get a little bit too long. Uh, I think the mining is a little bit like. <sighs> There's too many things in the game slowing it down. That's like, that's like my take, but it is really fun and it is really cool and I'm interested in how it develops. But yeah, that's Drill Core. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!